What's up, everybody, and welcome. This is your host, Kevin. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything more creative for a nickname right now, but in due time it'll come. And anyways, today we are going to be watching a highly recommended video from a good friend of mine, Michael. Shout out to you. Apparently, it's Bong Chiang Dong Ghost, and <laughs> I honestly don't know what to expect from this, but from the way it seemed, it's it's supposed to be good, really good, but terrifying. And I don't know what to expect. This is the first time I'm watching this, so this should be interesting. So let's get underway. Someone's coming. Who is that? Bong Chiang Dong Ghost. I like the bolding they put in the last one. This story is based on true eyewitness accounts. Okay. <laughs> it was around 11.20 that night. I was dragging myself home, exhausted after a tiring night, study sessions at school. But there was no one on the street, which I thought was strange. I usually see a lot of people, even at night, since my apartment complex is pretty big. Anyways. Feeling scared, I kept looking down on the ground while walking home. Suddenly, a shadow stretching towards me caught my eyes, although there wasn't anyone around me. Uh -oh. I looked up to see who there was. It's Slenderman! And saw a woman walking in front of me, but she looked a little... strange. I could say that she looked crippled. She was limping and struggling to walk in front of me. Since she was walking very slow, I soon caught up with her. Up close, I was able to see her even better. Okay, this is already starting to get creepy, so it's really good. She was wearing pajamas, <laughs> and looked as if all of her joints in her body had been twisted. Worse, her hair was a mess and sticking out everywhere. It seemed so weird that I stopped walking. Yeah, smart move! I felt like I shouldn't get any closer to her, but I didn't have the guts to pass her by. <laughs> you know, people say that if you're really surprised, you can't even scream. I was right. I froze there, not being able to move at all. Where is my baby? My thoughts were racing to her question. Oh my god, I don't even know what I was thinking when I did that. It gives me chills thinking that moment. I answered, pointing as far as I could. Oh, I just so wanted creepy. her to get away from me. Then... She went towards where I had pointed to, and I couldn't see her anymore. Ugh. Fearing that I might run into her again, I tried to turn around and leave that apartment complex. I could not think of anything but to get to a place where there would be people around. Yeah, you do that! At that moment, she is not here! I heard her screaming from far away. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember anything from then on. I heard that my neighbor found me passed out on the ground and took me home. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm officially freaked out now. This in is really well put together. <laughs> at an apartment complex in Bangshangdong, Seoul, a 33-year-old woman jumped off the apartment and died on the spot. <laughs> Known as surname Cho, a divorcee due to her extramarital affair, she had lost custody of her two-year-old daughter and decided to commit suicide. After that incident, Cho was seen walking around that apartment complex several times. Oh my god, this is so dark! <laughs> It's awesome, but it, I'm, I'm terrified. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Well. 
well then, I guess that was a story, uh, yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to change myself now. <laughs> no, I don't really have to change myself, but, oh god, wow. Yeah, that scares the bejesus out of me. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, that's pretty much it, so I hope you all enjoyed, and until the next video comes out, I will see you next time, and until then, have a good day, and have a good night, depending on where you are. Ciao, ciao!